representing rice and tantalum. Our settlement will be built by robots, mainly underground, in the space of five months and three weeks. The main underground section will be lined with bricks, and the area above ground will be built of lunar regolith bags of bricks. Firstly, the builder robot will take one week to dig out the pit. It will then take five months to build the house, and then two weeks to make it viable to live in. As you can see, this is how the building will look from inside. And this is the plan of the building. This is our cleaner robot, this is our builder robot who will build the house, and this is our entertainment robot and our cooking robot. To protect our base from radiation, we've decided to build it at the North Pole um, because the Lunar Exploration Neutron Detector has discovered this to be a place with least radiation on the Moon. We are building our base underground so the lunar soil, the lunar regoglyph, can absorb the radiation from the sunlight. We also have lead-lined walls which will also absorb radiation. To let light into the rooms, we are um, putting the light through a system of mirrors. This filters out any radiation in the sunlight. For extreme radiation storms, we have built a radiation shelter with one metre thick walls of water to absorb the radiation. Aeroponics will be used to grow most food because it doesn't require soil or gravity. To provide power, we will use solar panels to collect energy from the sun in the daytime and the sunlight reflected from the earth at night. Oxygen will be produced using the electrolysis of water, and zeolite and charcoal filters will remove excess gases. We're using shutters to control light levels so darkness can be created for sleeping residents. Opening the shutters lets in the light from the sun in the lunar day, and light from reflected from the Earth in the lunar night. On Earth, we must constantly use certain muscles to support ourselves against the force of gravity. On the moon, there is less gravity, so these muscles will be used less. This could lead to muscle wastage, so half an hour's exercise will be required each day. To solve the problem of less gravity on the moon, each resident will have their own set of iron-lined clothes and moon boots. And don't worry, all of our boots come in a wide range of colours and sizes. You are also advised to have some of the following. Fake eyelashes, moustache covered with iron filings for men, have iron filings stuck to your eyebrows and have iron fillings in your teeth. The toilet system is the same as that in the International Space Station. To use these toilets in lower gravity areas, you must fasten yourself to the seat and suction is provided to carry away the waste. As you can see, here is a breakdown of our costs. However, the total cost for construction is approximately 282 million. The total cost for radiation protection is around 16,000. And the total cost for household comforts is 5,000. This comes to a total cost of 300 million. Thank you very much for watching.